and good evening. How's everybody doing tonight? Okay. So, I've been um, trying to do this video, I don't know how many times today alone. I've been trying to do this video for how many days already and weeks. Um, now, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm bashing on Unique because we're talking about my switch from Unique to Limelight. I, I don't want anybody to feel offended. I should say more than anything. My intention is not to bash on Unique. My intention is to talk with honesty, with transparency, and not to put anybody in a, a position of feeling offended. Okay? And if you do, I am truly sorry. I still have friends um, that are part of Unique. And some of them, and I would say they're my friends at least, um, are the girls that I was part of their, um, the team with. Um, yeah, I said that weird, right? Okay. <laughs> part of, some of those girls are the ones that I was in a team with. Okay. Um, they're, they're beautiful women. They're strong women and they rock their business and I congratulate them. They have gotten far and I know, and I'm sure that they will get far, further within the company as far as they desire. Okay. So moving forward, I also want to say that I am very thankful for my time at Unique. I started, I think was in February, and was actively selling up until about 42 days ago, give or take, okay? So I'm very thankful because they, uh, using unique products, just a few products, and it was just a couple products, right before I became a presenter, really got me out of my mom's slump. It motivated me to do my makeup and do my hair some days, <laughs> some days. It really started sparking that passion that I have for the beauty industry altogether. I'm a cosmetologist. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I'm a working cosmetologist. And for three years, having been in that mom slump was not good for myself. It was not good for my business. It was, you could tell that I was in my mom slump. Like you can read it all over my face and that was not good. That's not good business practices. That's not good self-esteem. And we all get there. All, all parents, all moms, you know, we hit that time in our life that we fall into what I like to call a mom, a mom slump. And it's perfectly normal. It's just learning how to get out of it. And being in the industry that I'm in, I needed to get out of it quick. And if you know me, you know how much I love doing hair. You know how much I love doing makeup, especially on myself, honestly. Um, and this is something that I've done since I was extremely little. So for Unique to have sparked that back in me, I am extremely, extremely thankful. As, and especially to my sponsor um, that I had. She was the beginning of it all for me. And I love her. And I wish her all the best in her journey with Unique. Or whatever, or any other journeys that she decides to take um, outside of, of her Unique business. Okay, so now on, <laughs> moving on again. Um, why I left Unique, okay? So, Unique has now they have a full um, skincare line. They have a full makeup line. Some of their products are great. Their eyeshadow palettes, all but one palette, I absolutely love, which there's five palettes. Um, they're, they're very nicely pigmented, in my opinion. 
their their liners are their pencil liners I should say are wonderful and I still use those half of about half of their brushes their makeup brushes are not bad um, they they definitely get the job done and work well um, the rose water absolutely love the rose water and the foundation is eh. so <laughs> you like my little noise okay so the foundation with me when I first bought a bottle I bought it off of another presenter um, part of my bigger team I believe it was I loved it it was so thick it worked great my face it, like it didn't melt really quick it still melted um, the longer I had it on obviously because I have a really oily face um, throughout the day I'm like combination I start off kind of dry in some spots and normal in some spots and then I get really oily as I start to go on throughout my day so it would melt it wouldn't just get oily where I can you know go and blot it would melt not a big deal it was usually about eight hours into it so that I mean I still got a full stay out of it but when it came time to reorder it when they started coming back in stock because it was such a popular item they were back ordered they were out of stock right <clears throat> I reordered I tried a new color and I thought okay I don't know something just doesn't seem right with this color maybe it's just the shade because sometimes depending on the pigments um, the consistency the thickness all that kind of changes along with it so it was fine I still used it I made it work I can make almost anything work though and it was fine okay I still liked it I still thought it was beautiful um, a beautiful finish so then I thought okay the shade wasn't quite right I needed to go back to my original shade um, that I had bought off of somebody so I ordered again tried it used it hated it absolutely hated it it was really runny it wasn't a, at all the way um, the first bottle was of the same shade of the same found you know the same foundation the same shade um, it felt like I had a whole bunch of grease on my face <laughs> and I was only starting my day it was only at the start of my day and I felt like a grease ball um, I couldn't, um, because sometimes, like, if you want more, and sorry, I'm already getting shine, um, but this usually blots away. So, usually, the more coverage you want, you, so you do, like, one, you layer it. In other words, you layer it, okay? Let's keep that simple. You start layering, and you'll get more, you, depending on the foundation, you'll get more coverage. And originally, I was able to do that. With the new bottles, I wasn't able to anymore. <laughs> if I layered it, now I was not only feeling a grease ball, I was a grease ball. And it just looked patchy. It, it just looked really bad. So, that was unfortunate, right? But I still use it. I still... I, I just kind of brushed it under, under the rug because the first bottle was so good that I was like, okay, I probably just got a bad one, whatever. Um, no big deal. Happened again. I knew something was not okay. Um, but because I had, I hadn't ordered it again, I, I had a backup bottle, so when I opened it, um, by that time, I couldn't really complain about it. I, trust me, I've tried. They wouldn't, um, grant me any type of warranty or guarantee anymore so whatever um something I noticed was just the consistency the quality of their products was not consistent right and it wasn't even just with that it was also with like their mascara for instance was another one so in a week or two you started having them dry out they were getting clumpy they were getting gross so I said hey do these little tips we have and that should correct the problem. It's just because of the new formulation, blah, 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 blah. Did it. Tried it. Still did not work. They gave me more tips. Still did not work. They're liquid liners. I was so excited. 
they're crap. It's the honest truth. I'm sorry. If you like them and they work for you, great. But I think the black, which ended up looking more like the charcoal, worked once for me okay, and I still had to really, really work at it. And then after that, it was it was worse. And my client complained, and, and it didn't work for her either. And I tried to make in a, um, put in a complaint, and she um, they just wouldn't validate anything, which is fine. Whatever. Moving on. Um, other products came out with a higher dollar price and a smaller amount and less shades available. I don't... Okay. So it's... It just... I don't know. I couldn't stand behind it. The minute I got mine in, I hated it. Hated this new product. Absolutely hated it. I was kind of sad that I spent my money on it, but I didn't want to return it because I wanted to still give it like the benefit of the doubt and I said okay I'm gonna put it away in a couple weeks I'll, I'll take it back out and try it again did it didn't work again I said okay let's put it away maybe it'll work for a customer and I just kept sitting on it pretty much and I never returned it um, and I should have and I should have made a complaint right but when you're looking at everybody's complaints already and they're not giving them any solutions, you feel um, disheartened and you just don't feel like there's a point, unfortunately. So with that, I just started noticing that the dollar amount for some of their products was not worth the quality you were getting. I knew that I can take what I was spending and walk into a Walmart or Target and get something that the quality felt even better, if not the same. But some of them actually better at a lower price. I knew that I can go into Sephora and get something a million times better and at a lower price. So... With the quality really lacking, I just couldn't, I couldn't stand behind them anymore. And then it was all, and I'm not talking about my team. I don't, I didn't have a bad experience with my small team that I was, that I was part of. But like the, I don't know, the big team and looking at other things going on behind the scenes type thing. Pushing to just get people signed up. And like, it doesn't matter if you're a kidnapper, right? I, I even said that. I was like, I was so like, I need to get my first, my fast start. All I need are kidnappers. Like, who wants to help me out type thing, right? I, I did. I was all in the same, I'm guilty. I was all there. I was in the same um, thing with them, whatever. Um, and it's just something that I, I couldn't really see the bad part of it until later. Being, I'm part of like um, a whole bunch of makeup groups, obviously, or whatever. And then when you're seeing a lot of negative reviews, a lot of negative feedback, and as a consumer and as a seller or a presenter, I'm listening. To, I'm listening to it all. I'm listening to the good and I'm listening to the bad. But most importantly, I'm actually listening to the bad. Because I want to see if there's a way that I can fix it, if maybe it is just application. But if it's problems that this person is having that are similar to mine, that I know, then I know it's not um, the application or the the way you do it. It's it's coming down to the quality of product. Okay? So, that was a big thing. And then, like I said, um, oh yeah, the kidnapper. So trying to just sign up people so that your number, your num um, team member numbers are high to help you move along. Um, I'm not going to, I mean, any direct sales company, you want to grow your team, any single one, right? And a lot of them say, hey, let, you know, why don't you be a kidnapper? That's, that kind of defeats the purpose, honestly. It's quality over quantity. And I talked to this, um, with my sponsor, my upline and limelight all the time. We have our wonderful conversations of, of it needing to be 
quality over quantity. I rather, and you should, push and try to make sales because you're also going to make more money that way. But also it's more work in a sense. I don't know how to explain it. Then trying to sign up a whole bunch of people that are going to invest into it. And what if they don't like it? What if they hate it? And you just, now, now you're not going to be taken seriously also. And trying to just sign up a whole bunch of people. Anyways, in any direct sales company, I think that's what makes direct sales um, such a sour word in people's mouth. I hear a lot of times people saying direct sales is not a real job. You guys, let me tell you, direct sales is no freaking joke direct sales like if you want to get anywhere in direct sales and you want to make money and you want to get far farther into direct sales you're working like 23 hours out of the 24 a day you are constantly pushing and trying to do everything you can to make those sales to grow your team to better yourself better your technique if i told you the amount of training that we go through, which I love, in um, Limelight by Elcone. You guys would not be able to keep up, right? I can't even keep up. If you saw um, our, like, senior directors and our, um, dude, they're so motivational, they're so inspirational, but you're like, Jesus, do these women sleep? Do these men sleep? Like, it's just outrageous. But because they work that hard that's why they are um where they are right and they're making really good money and they're making really good friendships and they are providing for themselves and their families that's the most important thing and they're doing what they truly feel drawn to do so for all those people that say that direct sales is not a real job until you've actually done it and actually put everything into it you will find out <laughs> how much of a real job it is, okay? Anyways, so back to my reason for leaving. So the qual the lack of quality, um, the whole with, with Unique, it was kind of quantity over quality, quantity over quality when it should be reverse, um, talking about like the kidnappers and all that. And I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much the reason why I left. I needed something better for myself. I needed something better for my clients, my customers. Um, hopefully my future team, if, if um, I can build one, right? And I'm always trying, but I'm never pushing it. Um and my future and potential customers. This was this was the best decision I, I could have made for for everyone involved was um, to switch to Limelight by Alcone. Um, I am very again I am very thankful to Unique for everything that I um, got out of it in a positive way. And I'm very fortunate to have had the team that I was part of. And fortunately, I didn't have bad experiences with them like a lot of um, other uh, former Y sisters did. And it, it's really disheartening. It's really saddening it, um, the things that, that some of these beautiful women and men went through um, when, when they decided to switch or even when they were just still there with the competition. And I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um Again, I, I hope this doesn't, like, come off as bashing as much as it is just telling me telling the truth, um, being transparent on why I left. I don't want to offend anybody. Again, everybody's experience with, pro with, the, with the products, everybody's experience um, with the company as a whole, with their customer service, with other team members, with other Y sisters, is com it's completely different from my own. It's completely different from the person next to me that might be part of why, um, part of unique. So this is my experience. This is why I left unique. And um, now I'm going to explain why I chose Limelight by Alcone. Limelight by Alcone 
Um, it's professional makeup for everybody. Okay. When I say professional, I'm not just saying because it's professional, um, quality or like professional quality. It's because it is professional quality. It is professional makeup. Okay. Um, El Cone is about 65 years old. They are the Sephora of professional makeup. We all know who Sephora is. We all know who Ulta is. <coughs> Excuse me. They are them, but better, of professional makeup for the past 65 years. At Alcone, you'll find RCMA and Mac Pro and just so much more. Many, many, many um, professional makeup brands, okay? Like that. They have provided professional makeup to makeup artists, actresses, um, Broadway dancers, singers um, for 65 years. So when makeup artists were, was using the products on clients, they um, clients loved the products and they wanted to get their hands on it for themselves for at home. So they these makeup artists um, started referring them over to Alcone to buy their products at. So um, eventually Alcone decided we need to do something to give back to our makeup artists. So that's kind of when Limelight started becoming out and um they sorry there's people laughing back there <laughs> they're i'm in a gas pump okay so limelight was born and i'm still doing all my homework on limelight because there's so much to know about them it's amazing but limelight by El Cone then decided hey let's do more than just make this available, um, this direct sales company, you know, let's do more than just make it available for makeup artists. So let's stretch it out to, to everyone. So anybody can kind of, kind of do this and anyone can sell professional makeup to anyone. So kind of where the baby came from, um, Al Cohn's baby came from, right? So our makeup, let's see, our eyeshadows were originally created by the company that um, bought Mac and then Limelight decided hey we can make these even better because we know all about this <laughs> we, we've known about what's best of the best so they reformulated and came up with their own line of eyeshadows so now we have our very 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 own line of eyeshadows they're not um, no longer um, from a vendor like they were before and I can't remember the company I'll have to do research on it or not research but bring it up again the company that um, had bought Mac they they're the ones that were pretty much our vendor for our um, eyeshadows originally and then we have vendors for our foundation our foundation is formulated we, we obviously limelight by Alcone they chose the best of the best so they found um, the best of the best for vendor for our foundation because this foundation was used on Broadway on, under these huge, warm, hot lights, right? And it was withstanding, and it was doing super good. So Limelight by Alcone, they knew that that's what they needed to have. So they seeked out their vendor, um, which is actually a vendor at Alcone anyways. And that's how our foundations came. And then we have vendors for a few other products, like our um, spray primer and our setting spray. We have um, vendors, I can't remember our vendors for everything, um, but we have vendors for different things. And then we have our own, our very own f uh, formulations, like our skincare. Our skincare is chemical free, um, most of it's paraben free. Everything in the whole entire Limelight by Alcone is cruelty free. It's not, we don't just say it's cruelty free, it's certified um, Leaping Bunny cruelty free okay so they went above and beyond and they got all their certification and all that paperwork done um their skincare was pretty much created for a really close friend that was suffering of cancer and they knew that they needed something healthy because believe it or not 
everything we put on our bodies, just like we put into our bodies, affects us in the long run. Okay, so this is why it's important to use good products um, with little to no chemical as possible, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <coughs> I can give you more details um, as I do videos about products. I actually will give you more details about how, for example, how our foundation came to be. Um, I'll hit base on how our lipsticks came to be, how our limelight, um, sorry, our, yeah, well, yeah, our limelight by Alcone skincare came to be. I'll get more into details about that later, okay? So, anyways, um, the point is that Limelight by Alcone is not just a random direct sales company. They didn't just say, hey, let's make this company and let's be part of the beauty industry and try to make bukus of money. <laughs> it just didn't happen that way. This was a way to say thank you to the makeup artists that were referring people out to Alcone. This is a company that is based off of, that is, you know, Alcone having their own brand being Limelight with being, having, how, how do I explain? Pro, while providing the best of the best of the industry. So, although maybe all our makeup doesn't work for you, it works for a very large percentage of people, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't just like to say, oh, we're the best of the best. And just because I want you guys to believe me. There's um, history and there's facts out there if, if you wanted it. To kind of explain and kind of demonstrate that we do have some of the best of the best. Uh, there's a lot of other brands that I use whether it be from Sephora, like their their brand, I use a couple color correctors. I use Too Faced. I use, um, I have Burberry. I have Jeffree Star. I have a large variety of makeup brands. <laughs> I have really good makeup brands, you know. Um, and then some that, but when it comes down to professional makeup, I don't have any, I actually don't have any MAC. Um, like Mac Mac stuff I have all my professional professional makeup is Limelight by Alcone and then I have um, some Marabella products still um, but for long lasting um, true like Hollywood type makeup it would be Alcone and I love it it's wonderful. It's amazing. Our eyeshadows are extremely pigmented. Um, it, this lighting is horrible, and I wish I can show you guys better. Let's see if this works. Um, sorry if it looks shiny. Anyways, the foundation is wonderful. The setting spray is amazing. Um, the setting powder, uh, phenomenal. The eyeshadows are extremely pigmented. I'm not just saying, oh, they're extremely pigmented just because... I, I, I'm not trying to make a sale right now, you know. It's because they are. They're 50 per, I don't have eyeshadow. Their eyeshadow is on today. Um, the foundation and the eyeshadows are 50% pigment. 50% pigment. When it comes down to foundation, the normal is about 28% pigment at the, at the highest is what it normally is. Ours is 50 50% pigment. Like, I scrape the top of my foundation with a spatula when I'm going to use it, and then I dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it all over, use my stippling brush, and dang, I get some really good coverage without using a ton of product. Um, some people use their bl beauty blender or their blender full is what we have. I like a brush. <laughs> I have large pores, and I'm like, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> So anyways, yes, so the reason why I chose Limelight by Alcone, I want to be taken seriously. I want to be taken seriously as a cosmetologist, a makeup artist, as a professional, as a licensed professional. I want to be taken seriously um, as a beauty guide, 
and I want to be taken seriously in the beauty industry, period. So I chose um, Limelight by Elkhorn. I mean, there's so many other direct sales companies that does makeup. And I've been part of one other one, actually, um, when I was 18. I was part of Avon, and I had a great experience. Um, but I chose Limelight because I needed the best of the best for myself and for everybody else around me. And I need to be taken seriously. And Limelight by El Cone has a doable, um, like, leveling up plan. Their comp plan is so original to an, to an extent. It's like they have so much of their comp plan is like no, no other. No other out there. It's incredible. Um, the girls and the men in, in Limelight by El Cone are extremely welcoming. Like, you guys have no idea. They are so motivational. They are so inspiring. We have these amazing makeup artists, these amazing celebrity makeup artists. And I'm sitting back here and I'm like, gosh, I'm praying and I'm working and I'm trying to one day be where they are. Whether it's with Limelight by El Cone by my side or a contract with another makeup company that's not direct sales. But I know and I feel that in order for me to get where I want to be, because I do have other goals. I have other business goals um, for my career. I feel that where I want to go and where I want to be, Limelight by El Cone needs to be by my side. Because I know that they'll be by my side. I know that the girls on my team, I know that my leaders, I know, um, I know that my directors, I know that my CEO um, of the company will support not only me, but like everybody else that's in the company. Because I see it all the time. I see them doing this all the time. I feel them doing this all the time. So, yeah. So, um, this is something I'll have to touch a little bit more base um, when I talk about just Limelight. I'm going to do another video kind of telling you guys the history of Limelight, giving you a little bit more details. And, um kind of breaking down uh, their skincare along with that, okay? Because their skincare line is extremely important um, for Limelight by Alcone. Yep. Okay, so I did this <laughs> so that I only can watch it for now. I'm going to switch it. I did that because my connection's always really so I wanted to make sure you guys can watch this without interruptions, okay? So I hope everybody has a good night. If you have any questions, please write them down um, in the comments. I will answer them as soon as possible. And if you have any other questions um, that you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment for, please feel free to PM me. Send me a private message, all right? And again, I apologize if anybody felt, um, if anybody, f uh, oh, I can't even think of the word anymore. Um, I hope nobody felt that I was bashing on Unique. I hope you guys can see that I'm just being honest. This is my review. This is my honest review because I wasn't only a presenter, I was also a consumer. Okay, so please remember that. I was a consumer also. I put in my hard-earned money into their products also. So this is my review as a presenter. This is my review as a consumer. Okay, so I hope you guys don't feel offended at all for, for any of those presenters that are still out there. If you're thinking of joining Unique, please, you know, don't just go by my experience. Do your research. See if that's the right fit for you. If you're interested in Limelight, hit me up. Send me a message. If you have any questions and I don't know the answer, I'm going to go right to my um, directors and my leaders and I'm going to get the answer for you. Trust me, I have really good connections. <laughs> we, we, we'll get you the answer. If you need the answers of anything, I'll get those to you. Um, even if it's, um, about unique, if it's nothing I can answer, I will try my very, very, very best to get the answers for you. Um, with, even if it's a current, if I have to go to a current, um, presenter and get the answer for you, or 
if I could ask um, one of my current uplines in Limelight by Alcone, as many of them did um, actually come from Unique, and um, some of them were pretty high up in the company. Or, yeah. Okay, so everybody have a great night. Feel free to leave me any questions. Send me any private messages. Again, my apologies. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep repeating this. My apologies if anybody felt offended. That was not my intention. Have a great night.